What's up everyone? Another video because today is a good day. Yes, it is a Thursday, which is okay, but it's mail day. And that means right here is the other package I was talking about in my last video. Now, I have two packages coming in. I am 100% sure this is the big one because of the size and everything. I want to open it up live on camera well as live as it can be when you watch it later on technically it won't be live but it's live right now as i'm filming this and this if it is correct and i'm 100 sure it is this is the ebay purchase i made for 125 dollars for all these magazines it was quite the deal they wanted 150 with best offer. I said 125, expected them to counter with like 140, but they okayed it. I got it. And uh, this is going to be pretty exciting. So I got my trusty knife here, a pairing knife that I got from Walmart for free in 2007. And it's, I use it for stuff like this because I don't, really need to make any types of food and let's see I'll down here too I think maybe not oh is it like this okay let me get this up here ah and there okay here we go let's see is it the one that's 125 I'm a Wow, they packed it well. Oh, it is. Oh, snap, it is. Okay. So, this is incredible. What? Oh, let me get this box bent back here a bit. Okay. Here we go. Boom. The British Bulldogs program magazine. Now, I already have this, but it's beat up the shit. This looks really, really good. Now, I wonder if the poster is inside. So I have the post. Oh, it is, too. So this is perfect. Excellent. Keeping that one. The other one, I will probably still sell, but at very, very cheap, because I'm sure someone might want it in their collection still. Nice. Strike Force with the tag team titles. Very, very cool. Happy about that one. Keeping it. Oh, yeah. Brother Brood Eye on a program here. Always good to add a Brutus Beefcake magazine to my collection. And we got Hacksaw Jim Duggan here. And these magazines look pretty good. Like, honestly, I... So far, so, you know, they're looking good. Um, This one here, I just got... But this one is in way better condition. So this one will be staying. The other one had a shelf life in my collection of two days. So now this is it. Oh, this is cool. What I'm about to show next is crazy because I was talking to um, Andrea A on um, on through through her YouTube channel. And she shows, you know, the inside of the magazine. She'll open them up and go page to page. And she has quite a good collection of pay-per-view programs. Like, really cool ones. Ones I never saw. And uh, she has, like, a SummerSlam 94 one, which was neat that she went through and I got to see it because I never had it as a teenager. These ones are older ones. I can't believe I got these included. The Royal Rumble from 1989. And look at that. Look at the shape that's in. That's insane. Because that would probably go for, like, way more than that on its own. And the WrestleMania 5 one. Very cool. I had the WrestleMania 5 one as a kid. And um, you know what? The funny thing is, I don't even remember how I got the programs as a kid. Because I don't remember buying them in the store. Um, maybe I got them through friends. like maybe Because I know I, I remember I got magazines... Um, from friends that just like gave them to me because they kind of outgrew wrestling because wrestling wasn't cool, you know, in like 1991 and such in their eyes. Meanwhile, I was like still, you know, neck deep in it. Uh, I own this magazine, but it's still cool to see uh, the Piper one here. So that will be um, going 
up for sale. And another one of these, the Brew. Now this one looks great shape. So this one will definitely be staying in my collection and I'll be getting rid of the other Beefcake magazines I have of that. Here's a magazine I wish I would have had a few weeks ago when I did the Von Eric video. There's Kerry with the Intercontinental title. Um, that's a really good shot of the Texas Tornado there. Very cool. It kind of reminds me of the Warrior when he was Intercontinental Champion and they did that magazine with him on the cover holding the belt. Uh, February 91, we got Warrior and Hogan. Now, here we go. 1991 magazines. That is what I needed to do the merchandise catalog video. Now I can officially do it and go through every year and show you what the magazine catalogs, uh, merchandise catalogs were like. There's May 91. And we also have June 91 here with uh, WrestleMania 7. Nice. We got... July 92 with the Warrior on the cover. And let's see, we got August 94. I own uh, this magazine, so... Ooh, this looks pretty beat up. So that will be going up for sale, though. And again, I'm um, these like I'm not going to leave those guys on, on eBay, you know, who sell, like, ridiculous prices. Mine are going to be legit 10 bucks each. And, and base, that's it. Because I don't care. Um... They're old magazines. Nice. Now, does this have the... This feels like it might have the cards. <gasps> oh, wow. It does have the cards. I wonder if my magazine like this has the cards. I don't have to look at that. Because I do have that, but I don't know if I have the cards in it. Um, The DX one here, I have this already. So, January 98, that will be going up. Uh, this is interesting. This looks like a program... WF magazine. So they clearly got this at a show because look, it says the five bucks down there. I don't have that. So that's neat. Um, oh, wow. July 2001. I definitely don't have these ones. I've never even seen these. There's Benoit. Good old Chris Benoit. No, Chris Benoit. Uh, we got, wow, this is like newer style too. The Rock on that one. Definitely don't have those or seen those. A Raw magazine here with Kane on it from 98. Definitely don't have that. What is this? This is WrestleMania, the special collector. I definitely don't have that. And best of, I definitely don't have that in my collection. So there we go. So out of all these, um, only four doubles, including that, uh, well, five maybe, right? Because I don't know about that WWF magazine with Mark Merrill and Sable on it. Because I don't think I have the cards in my magazine i'm pretty sure i would remember that i know some of them i do and it, yeah that would be nice too to, to try to get all those magazines that came with the cards in them uh i believe i'm blessed in the fact that i actually have um the first card issue for those meaning um i have uh like the number one card. So that would be Diesel, I think, is the number one um, carded guy. And at some time in like 1995, I think those started, or 90, maybe 96, probably early 96. Uh, I'm not entirely sure anymore. It's been so long since I, I, have to, I should look through them, right? That's what I should do. I own these. Why not look through them? So, yeah, not too shabby. That was kind of exciting. That was a big one I was waiting for. Um, I'm really, really happy to get those. Uh, I kind of, I wish I would have had a lot of those magazines, like even months ago when I was doing videos, like the history of championship title videos and such like that. Um, a lot of good shots there with guys holding the belts and, but you know, that's what it is. I mean, this is going to be a constant, um, situation where I'm just always going to be adding new stuff and it's crazy because i went like the longest time there without adding anything to this collection and it's just there's there's multiple reasons why luck thank god those reasons are, are no longer around now um that being his name is josen <laughs> but anyways um he was he was kind of like my 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 boss at work and uh he was stingy on the hours for a lot of us, and now he's gone, and hours, my hours have improved greatly in the last few months, like last two months for sure. 
So that enables me to have a little spending money to have some fun and I'm enjoying it again. I'm having a blast. Uh, it's just, you know, it's nice to get a paycheck and know some of that money can go into a hobby that you enjoy because you're making enough of it. So, uh, yeah, that's my video for today. I'm super excited to add all these to my collection. I got to update the old chart that's out in, uh, out in the um la on the laptop in the living room i'll do that today as well and um by the way it's like snowing outside here where i'm at right now we got our first uh little snowfall that's actually the snow is on the ground right now it hasn't melted so and i also saw next week that some of the highs in the day are going to be minus 10 how is that a high how is minus 10 a high what the hell's going on that's not very cool weather but um well, it is cool weather, but it's not cool weather. But uh, but hey, you know what? If I got those days off, I'll be inside looking at these magazines. Maybe I can find some cool stories. I know the one video I got to do, that would be the merchandise catalog video. And that will be getting done this weekend for sure. Because uh, I'm not working Friday or Saturday. Those are my days off. And um, yeah. I have a feeling I'll do it then. I'll go through and, and do a page-by-page page look at all the merchandise that was out from 1986 until, I guess, 2000 and, and some, I don't know. I got some magazines here from like 2001, 2005 now, 2012. I got to go through them all and take a look and see what I can do for you all. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm up to 400 subscribers now. Wow. Thanks so much to every single one of you joining me on this awesome ride, a, a trip down memory lane for a lot of us from our youth, uh, from our teenage years, whatever it may be. I'm glad I can bring a little bit of happiness into your life by seeing these. And hopefully, maybe it will help you guys watching this to uh, maybe inspire to want to go out and start a magazine collection yourself. It is fun to do. And, uh, it was a little more fun years a few years ago when prices were cheaper, of course. But if you look hard, um, I guess technically you can find uh, good deals. They're very, uh, you know few and far between. But uh, I like to think that I give uh, amazing prices and deals for uh, my magazines I sell because I know they're old magazines. I know collectors out there are hurting; they want stuff. And uh, ten bucks a magazine, I think, is more than fair. I mean, these things. Okay, uh, they cost. Uh, January 98 WF magazine here uh, cost. I don't know if you can see it because um, it's small print, but it says $4.95 Canada, $3.95 US. So five bucks Canada plus tax. You're looking at like, you know, $5.65 probably back in the day or so. I think 10 bucks for something that's from 1998 is actually a more than fair uh, price for it. And uh, of course, shipping, you'll. You know, I do free shipping on eBay because they're the um, I'm selling like the wrestler and inside wrestling. Those magazines aren't really that sought after for WWF magazines. I'll, I'll definitely be charging shipping because um, I feel like they're a they're a heavier magazine. They're a, a wider magazine. And uh, that's just I might not even throw these on eBay. I, I have a few Facebook groups actually I'm on that sell wrestling stuff. And I know that WWF magazines will definitely sell more than, unfortunately, more than magazines like The Wrestler or Inside Wrestling. Uh, that's a very niche um, hobby, even for wrestling magazine collectors. Um, if they're going to collect those, like I said before, they usually just want Pro Wrestling Illustrated, which I get. PWI is still making magazines to this day. Uh, but a lot of you know the wrestler and inside wrestling are just they're good but fortunately a lot of magazine uh collectors just don't want to go down that route and maybe it's understandable it's just another thing they have to collect right all right so until i do my next one i will talk to you guys later